molding and casting a human hand using Genesis 5 alginate, gel 25, and of course our new clear mold tube. Now many of you have requested a large diameter clear tubes for making silicone block molds. We already have several other sizes, but uh, we recently found these really large diameter, this is five inches wide by 12 inches long uh, mold tube. And in addition to uh, being a great uh, way to make silicone block molds, we've also found that these work great for making quick hand molds. And uh, we're gonna cover that process in a really fast tutorial here. This is a kind of an overview of the process of making a silicone hand. But in this case, what we're going to do is use Use a clear mold tube anchored to a base using some hot glue and here we just used a scrap piece of foam core but you could very easily use a scrap piece of plywood or cardboard or anything there to temporarily cap off that end. Now to help with this process our new uh, shop monkey Wendy will be helping by loaning us her hand and one of the things we want to do before we start is make sure her hand is right in the middle of the tube and not touching any of the sides. And then we're going to release her hand using some of our petroleum release. A uh, little bit of Vaseline or even a hand moisturizer will work. But one of the reasons we're using the uh, petroleum release here is uh, that won't cause any ill effects later on with platinum silicone. Now once we've got Wendy do ready to go, we're ready to fill up our mold tube with some Genesis 5 alginate. And this is just one of our more popular general purpose 5 minute set time alginate formulas. And uh, we used warm water here to help this set up a little faster than five minutes. And once we've got that tube full, we're ready for the typical hand mold procedure. We'll have Wendy put her hand all the way down to the bottom of the container and then pull it back out again. And once she pulls that back out, we massage that alginate into the detail of her hand and then have her hand submerge again down into the alginate. And again, since we're using uh, slightly warm water here, uh, rather than the normal five minute working time, it's going to speed this up to more of a, a two and a half minute set time. Now, once the alginate has solidified, we're ready to uh, liberate Wendy's hand from the mold. So here we're uh, breaking that suction free around her wrist. And then we're going to very carefully slide that off. And there's a lot of suction on a hand mold like this. So you want to take your time and carefully work that out and um, take care not to rip the mold because at this point we have a perfect mold and we don't want to destroy that with impatience. So very carefully here, we're going to have Wendy pull, gradually slide her hand out of the mold. And now we have a Genesis 5 AccuCast mold ready for casting. And it's real important if you're new to working with alginate formulas, you want to make your cast as soon as possible into that alginate mold. If you wait too long, the alginate will start to shrink and distort. So we're ready to cast now, so we're going to use some of the Platsil Gel 25 silicone. Now, Gel 25 is one of our more popular formulas because it's uh, mixed one-to-one -one by weight or volume. It's low viscosity, so it's very easy to pour bubble-free without vacuum degassing. And, of course, it's fast setting, so that works well for an alginate mold that's very time-sensitive. And Gel 25 is easy to paint. We can easily paint this with more Gel 25 or Platsil Gel 10 pigmented with silicone pigments. And speaking of pigment, we'll be pigmenting our Gel 25 for this cast using some of Neil's materials key pigment. This is pale flesh, which is a good base color for a light Caucasian skin tone. So it'll match Wendy well. And you can find the key pigments in our silicone additive section. And the key pigments are really nice because they're available in several uh, flesh tones that allow you to achieve a lot of ethnic colors that are uh, very difficult to mix from scratch, so to speak. So be sure to check those out. And by the way, I'll be putting uh, links to all of the materials used in the video. Uh, the pigments and of course the uh, mold tube and gel 25 and all those things be sure to check the video description I'll have all of those links down there now one of the things we're doing here is adding the color to both the A and B separately so that when we combine those we don't have any change of color so now we're ready to measure out our A and B components and mix them up 
to pour our hand. Now remember, really important here that Gel 25 has about a five to seven minute working time at room temperature and then a one hour demold. So we wanna move quick. When we're measuring these out, keep track of time and make sure you're ready to mix this and pour it as soon as possible. Because if you're working in a really warm area in the summertime here in Texas, this sets up really fast. So be prepared to get your A and B components thoroughly mixed and poured into that alginate mold as soon as possible. So here I've measured out about 400 grams of part A and 400 grams of part B. And now, now I'm ready to mix those up with a clean stir stick. And you'll notice as usual, I'm scraping the sides and the bottom of the container thoroughly. And we want to make sure we get all of that incorporated into the mixture really well. The last thing you want to do when you're pouring up a silicone hand or any other kind of prop is to have uh, uncured spots or sticky spots where that silicone is not properly cured because it'll make it impossible to paint later on. Now once we've got that mixed up, we're ready to pour that into our mold. Now it's important when you're pouring into a hand mold to remember how the fingers were posed because if you've got fingers in a weird position, you might have to turn the alginate mold some different directions to make sure you don't trap any air bubbles in the fingertips. This is another reason I'm a big fan of using foam core board uh, anywhere in the process because you can always write yourself little notes down there on that foam core base about uh, the pose of the hand or uh, any problem areas or where the thumb is or uh, you know any potential air bubble spots. Just write yourself notes and directions for later on. In this case, Wendy's hand uh, was curved in just a little bit and I wanted to make sure I tilted the mold there just a little bit to liberate some of those air bubbles in the fingertips. And now we're filling it up all the way, and now we just have to wait about an hour for the silicone to completely cure. And again, that's all at room temperature, right around 70 degrees. And now Wendy's going to help us again to carefully pull that out. And here I'm trying to pull this out without tearing the alginate, so that uh, we can see if we get some more use out of that mold. And we did it. So now we have our first copy of Wendy's hand in Gel 25. And for those of you curious about painting silicone, I'll put a link in the video description to one of our tutorials covering the process of painting with uh, Gel 10 over Gel 25 and other Plat Seal gels. So be sure to check that out. And uh, one of the nice things, since we were able to pull that first hand out without ripping the mold, I was able to pour a couple more uh, Gel 10 hands into our mold. So here's the first Gel 10 copy, and now another one. And we actually could have done several more, but I went ahead and stopped at uh, three hand casts out of this mold. And this one, I embedded a pipe in it so I could flip it over and put on a base for painting. And there you have the process of casting several uh, Gel 25 and Gel 10 hands into a mold tube. And you'll notice that uh, that water uh, leaching out of the alginate broke the seal on our uh, foam core board and allowed everything to just slide right off. So even though our alginate mold is about done and ready to be thrown away, we can use that mold tube again if we wanted to. So there you have it, the process of making a hand mold using AccuCast Genesis 5 Alginate and pouring up a copy with Gel 25 Platinum Silicone. And as usual, you can find all the supplies, the Gel 25, the Genesis 5, and of course the new mold tubes, all on our web store at brickintheyard.com. Be sure to check us out and also check out our Instagram page if you want to see other product updates and uh, just other shenanigans around the Biddy Mold Supply store. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to our channel. And again, thanks for watching.